Hi class, in lesson two, you will be solving problems with ratios of fractions. Learning goals for today, compute unit rates from ratios of fractions, including ratios of lengths and areas, and to interpret complex rates to solve real-world problems involving lengths and areas. A key term to look for today, complex ratio. Please turn to page 61, activity 2.1, comparing ratios of fractions. The table shows the weights of four different adult birds and the weights of their eggs. Please note that the strategy to compare ratios is the same regardless of the types of numbers used. Please answer number one, two, and three with your group. For number one, the bird with the heaviest egg is the swan with 11 ounces, then the chicken with 2 ounces, third is the pigeon with 3 fourths of an ounce, and the lightest egg is the robin with 1 tenth of an ounce. For number two, here are the ratios of egg weight to mother's weight for each bird. For the pigeon, we have 3 fourths to 10, the chicken, 1 to 40, or if you have 2 to 80. Uh, the swan 11 to 352 and the robin 1 tenth to 5 halves. For number 3 here is the list of birds in order from greatest to least. We have a pigeon for number 1, robin number 2, swan number 3, and chicken number 4. The strategy that I used was to convert each ratio from number 2 into decimal form in order to Put the birds in order from greatest to least. Please turn to page 62, activity 2.2, determining unit rates from ratios of fractions. Although the ostrich is the largest living bird, it is also the fastest runner. The table shows distances that four birds ran and the amount of time it took each bird to run that distance. Please remember that a rate is a ratio that compares two quantities that are measured in different units. Each row in the table shows a rate. The rate for each bird in this situation is the distance covered per the amount of time. Please answer number 1, A through D with your group. For number one, letter A, the rate for the ostrich is 22 miles to half an hour. Letter B, the road runner, 300 yards to half a minute. Letter C, the quail, 20 yards to five halves or two and a half seconds. And letter D, the pheasant, 200 yards to five sixths of a minute. Please turn to page 63. The rates you wrote in question one are each represented using different units of measure. In order to compare speeds, let's determine the unit rate in miles per hour for each bird. Consider the numbers and units of the original rate to choose a strategy. Analyze each worked example. You know that the ostrich, ost ostrich ran 22 miles in half an hour. Let's take a look at the worked example. The rate of the ostrich is already measured in miles and hours, so you can set up a proportion and scale the original rate up to one hour. So therefore, the ostrich's speed is 44 miles per hour. Please turn to page 64. You know that the great roadrunner ran 300 yards in half a minute. Please note that when you look at the worked example, there are 1,760 yards in one mile. The rate of the greater roadrunner is written in yards per minute, so you can use conversion rates to rewrite the rate in miles per hour in order to determine that the roadrunner ran 20 and a half miles per hour. Using the last two worked examples, Please answer number four and five with your group. For number four, here is the work that you should show using the worked example from above in order to determine the quail speed. The quail speed is 16.4 miles per hour. The pheasant speed 
Again, using the worked example from above, here is what your work should look like. 8.2 miles per hour for the pheasant. For number five, the order of the birds from fastest to slowest rate, we have the ostrich at number one with 44 miles per hour. Roadrunner number two, 20 and a half. Number three would be the quail with 16.4 and number four is the pheasant with 8.2. Please turn to page 65, activity 2.3, solving problems with fractional rates. Tony needs a rate table for his tutoring jobs so that he can look up the charge quickly. Please answer letters A, B, and C with your group. For number one, letter A, here is what your rate table should look like. Please make sure that you are showing your work and you are using arrows to show your work whether you are scaling up or scaling down to come up with equivalent rates for your table. For letter B, I'm going to multiply $25 by the 7.5 hours to get $187.50 for 7.5 hours of tutoring. And for letter C, 212.50 divided by 25 is going to give me the 8.5 hours that Tony tutored. Please answer number two and number three, letter A and B with your group. For number two, the cost of a single order of wings with the deal will be $4. For number three, letter A, Abby would need three-eighths of a scoop to make one cup of a drink, and for letter B, she would need 30 cups. This will conclude lesson two on solving problems with ratios of fractions. Please let your teacher know if you have any questions. Thanks.